All right. I think I'll start things off with a spell book of knowledge. Hmm. By sending spell book of power to the graveyard, I can draw two new cards. Okay. And let's kind of let's kind of feel the feel the flow a little bit. I'll normal summon copycat to the field in attack mode. But you've got nothing to copy. I don't, but he's adorable. I'll be setting three cards face down and ending my turn. My move. I draw. Hmm. I'll hit the face down card in zone number one with the cosmic cyclone. All right, I'll have to respond to that with Reckless Greed, allowing me to draw two new cards. Oh, it'll be banished. Let's go, if it was worth it being Reckless. Just maybe. I'll activate... Cauldron of the Old Man. Oh, God. Which gains a counter, and you'll be taking a blast of 300 points of damage. Ah. Then, I'm going to play three face-down cards of my own. And that's going to end my turn. Interesting. Alrighty then. This will be turn one of Reckless. Hmm. And I'll start things off with... My Magician Souls. Mm. By sending a level 5 or higher spellcaster monster from my deck to the graveyard, I can special summon Magician Souls. So we'll send World of Prophecy to the graveyard. Okay. How dire is the situation that we're in right now? We're about to go back in. Stop shuffling. All right, so we special summon Magician Souls. Mm. Next, we'll be activating Spellbook of Secrets, allowing us to add a Spellbook card from deck to hand. Very well. And I think the more bodies, the better. So we'll be normal summoning the Spellbook Magician of Prophecy to the fields. Of course. And we'll use this effect to add a spellbook card from deck to hand. All right. Couldn't think of any better way. And we'll be adding spellbook of life to our hand. Okay, do a half cut. And then one, two, three, four, five. Now, unfortunately, I'll have to go to the battle phase and have my blue boy punch you for 500. Amazingly 500, okay. Yeah. And on that note, I'll pass turn to you. I troll. Perfection. I'll be activating my continuous trap. That is not the continuous trap. Oh, sorry, during the standby phase, Cauldron of the Old Man gains a counter, so now it's got two counters. Yes. I think I'll spare you the 600 damage, and instead gain a thousand life points! Okay, putting you at 8,500. <laughs> mm, no. Puts me at 75 because he used Cosmic, remember? Oh yeah, you're right. Now, during the main phase, I'll activate the Continuous Trap, Shadow Core, special summoning it as a monster in defense mode with 1950 defense points. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Then I'll play Sh L Shadow Fusion. Sounds good. Using the Nishidol Aerial in my hand with the Shadol Core on my field, which can be used as any attribute listed on a Shadol Fusion monster. Sounds good. So how about we go with Light? Your end is near, L. 
I fusion summon El Shadol Construct. That's great. And I got a room. Chain link one construct. Chain link two. Do you have any cards in your graveyard? Yes, I do. I got Spellbook of Secrets, World of Prophecy, Spellbook of Power, and Spellbook of Knowledge. So using Nishadol Aerial's effect, I'll call you your three spellbooks to banish them. Okay, sounds good. And I'll also respond with Dark Renewal. Mm -hmm. This will, whenever you normal or special summon a monster, I'm able to tribute my monster and your monster to special summon a spellcaster monster from my deck. What if I chain Forbidden Lance, targeting my El Shadol Construct to lower its attack strength by 800, but make it unaffected by other spells and traps for the rest of the turn? I'd say that sounds good to me. Okay. Yep. Surely that, that, that thing targets his cost, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> now. Battle phase. My construct may only have 2,000 attack points. So it's its power may be slightly weakened, but it won't change the fact that it will tear your monster's souls apart, starting with Copycat! Ah, I take those. Copycat only has 400 attack points, right? Uh, zero attack points. Zero attack points. So you're taking... 2,000 points of damage. Yes. I end my turn. All right, and that's final turn for Reckless. Uh, let's see. You got no cards in hand. You got the poison of the old man, a mysteri one mysterious face down. One mysterious face down and cauldron of the old man. <laughs> that's fair. I'll be using the effect of my Magician Souls. By sending a card from my hand to the graveyard, I can draw a card. Okay. So say goodbye to Regeki for now. To draw? <laughs> Something to tell me, maybe the Regeki would have been worth it. Probably, but how about you gain a thousand life points and I draw a card? Draw sure, it. Can't complain. Hmm. I'll be activating my Book of Moon. Putting my blue boy into face down defense position. But what comes up, wait, what comes down must come up because I'll flip up Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, which lets me add a Spellbook card from deck to hand. Very well. Now our big obstacle right now is that construct and that mysterious face down. A lot of that's pretty threatening. <laughs> But I think might have a way out of this. I'll be adding Spellbook of Eternity to my hands. Okay. This is a tough board. I mean, it's pretty basic, but I guess it's tough for a slacker like you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That is definitely the play of the game. We'll be activating Spellbook of Life. By revealing a Spellbook card to you. And banishing a Spellcaster from my graveyard. I'm able to special summon a spellcaster monster to my fields. So come on out, world of prophecy. <laughs> really think that's gonna help you? Not by itself, but I'll be activating Spellbook of Eternity. 
This will allow me to add a banished spellbook back to my hand. So say hello to the spellbook of knowledge. Okay. I'll activate spellbook of knowledge, targeting my spellbook of life, sending them both to the graveyard to draw two new cards. Hmm. You have no cards in hand at the moment, right? No cards in hand. Alright, well, then I guess I'll activate Dark World Dealings. Now we'll both get to draw a card and discard a card. You're making me discard Hellshadol Hollow, which will trigger his special ability to send the top card of my deck to the grave for each face of attribute on the field. So what you got? Uh, I got Light, Dark, and Water. Sweet, so with Light, Dark and water on the field, I'm sending the, the top three cards of my deck to the graveyard. Yep. Hell's Burial! Oh. Let's see. We have milled Jaw of Avarice, Trickstar Candina, and Trickstar Corobane. Hmm. What's next? That's a good question. Hmm. We'll go ahead and activate the field spell. The Grand Spellbook Spell Tower. Okay. Kind of basic, but okay. <laughs> we'll set a mysterious face down and we'll call it a turn. Not risking the attack. Hmm. A shame. I'll play a face down card. El Shadol Construct. With 2800 attack points, attack the blue boy! Alright, so I'll be taking 2500, right? Yes. Uh, no. What's this attack strength? 500. 2300. 23, yeah. Lucky for you, I forgot about Cauldron of the Old Man. So, you're spared. A bit of burn damage. That was nice. Oh wait, no, it's an, it's a mandatory effect. It has to be done. Sounds good. So it's got four counters now, so you would have taken 12 points of burn. Okay. Putting me at... Putting you at 2,200 life points. And what are your life points currently? 8,500. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Your move. Alright. I'm free from reckless greed now, so that was a little greedy of me, but I draw for turn. And thanks to my Grand Spellbook Spell Tower, I'll be able to put a Spellbook card at the bottom of my deck and draw a brand new card. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put Spellbook of Eternity at the bottom of the deck to draw a brand new card. Draw. Hmm. What's currently banished? Interesting. Honestly, with all those back row you have, I can't let those get in the way. What do you mean? I'm going to activate the spell card known as Harpy's Feather Duster, destroying all spell and trap cards on your side of the fields. I'm going to have to chain at least one of them. The Rishadol Incarnation. Sounds good. It allows me to revive a Shadol monster from the graveyard in face up or face down defense mode. So come on back. Hell shit all hollow. In face down defense. But your Harpy's Feather Duster will take out the reincarnation, the Quaking Mirror Force, and the Cauldron of the Old Man. It's pretty good. We'll be fine, Tank. Don't worry. I have an idea. Hmm. 
Next, we'll use the effect of my magician souls. Uh huh. <laughs> By targeting my grand spellbook tower and my spellbook of the master, I can send them both to the graveyard to draw two new cards. Hmm. Construct is a pain. We know what we want. But I think... I think we're going to be okay here. We'll be activating Magical Dimension. By tributing Magician Souls, I'm able to special summon the High Priestess of Prophecy to the field. Okay. And I'll be using my magical dimension to pop that construct. Sending construct to the grave will only trigger its special ability. Allowing me to target the El Shadol Fusion and add it to my hand. Sounds good. Oh, for reference. Help should all hollow has 2,900 defense points. It does? It does. Wow, so attacking it would be pointless. So I need to go ahead and use Priestess Effect to banish a spellbook card to target and destroy it. And since I've already used Hell should all hollow's effect this turn, I don't get to mill cards. What's that last turn? Part of me thinks it was last turn. I think it was last turn, so go ahead and... Uh, I have light, two lights on the field. Then I get to mill one card. Cyber Dragon. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Alright. And given the circumstances, you must be wide open for an attack. Unfortunately. Alright, World of Prophecy with 2,900 attack points. Attack directly. Oh. High Priestess of Prophecy, attack for 25. Ah! Down to 31. And since I have a normal summon this turn, I'll head on into main phase two and normal summon the Temperance of Prophecy to the fields. I'll then tribute him in order to special summon the Silent Magician in defense mode. That it? Yep, that's it. I draw. I set a monster in face down defense. But before you even think that you're gonna get the chance to pop it, I'm gonna use Reshadol Incarnation, banishing it along with another Shadol card, like Shadol Core. Um. As the cost. Yeah. Any response? Uh, nope. Then I get to change the battle position of a face down monster to face up. Defense. Triggering Falco's special ability to revive a Shadow monster from the grave in face down defense. Sounds good. And I think I'm gonna revive Nishadol Ariel. Now, I'm 90% certain that you're going to use your Silent Magician's effect to negate El Shadol Fusion. Yes, I am. Then I'll just have to end my turn. Alrighty, I draw. What does uh, your monster on the field face up do when it goes to the graveyard? If you send it to the grave by a card effect, he brings himself back at Shadol Falco. Oh, that's Shadol Falco. Dang it. Hmm. This is definitely a tough... This is a tough, tough choice here. And what are your life points currently? Uh, currently 3,100 to your 2,200. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for the roses. Alright, I'll be using Priestess's effect 
to ban your spellbook of life, to target your set monster, your face down monster, and destroy it. Nishidol Aerial's effect when it goes to the grave allows me to target up to three cards and add the grave and banish them. Sounds good to me. You just want all my spellbook stuff? <laughs> I don't know. What you got? Okay. We got Spellbook of Knowledge, Book of Moon, Upstar Goblin, Regeki, Reckless Greed, Dark Renewal, Temperance of Prophecy, Magician Soul, Spellbook of Master, Harpy's Duster, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Spellbook Magician of Prophecy, Magician Souls, and uh, Temperance of Prophecy. Okay. The ones that I will banish. All right, these three are banished. All right. You're at 3,100, and but Falco comes back, so it doesn't really... You destroy him by card effect, not if you destroy him by battle. Oh. I'll switch Silent Magician to attack mode. Fuck. All right, High Priestess of Prophecy, attack Shadol Falco. Ah. World of Prophecy, attack for 29. Ah. With Silent Magician, with 1,500 attack points, end this duel. Wait. Ah. That's game. It is, yeah. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Next card will be in light stage. And my next card would have been Iron Thunder! <laughs> well, well played. GG's. Uh, but I think I, I think we can come to an agreement. Obviously, um, I could either have Kyber Corp sue you, since they are my sponsor, and get my PhD back that way, or you just give it back to me. I could just give it back to you? Are you going to put me giving it back to you in the video? If I can be bothered to edit it, yeah. All right. All right, so, Ghost. I've held on to your PhD in dueling for over how many months? Ah, uh, I think like a solid six. Solid six months. I've held this man's PhD hostage, and I'm going to give it back to him. I'm submit. I am. What is it? I am forfeiting my PhD over back to Ghost Galaxy cosplay. Good, good. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. the lawsuit would have been a lot worse for you. 